Hi right, guys. All right, this will be the uh, final video on the uh, 387XX radio. As you notice, it is turned on, and we're just going to go through the dial and and. Now that's only partial volume. She's got good volume to her. So it is working good. We'll go through some of the dial here and see what we can come up with. Now the big knob is your fine tuning. If Ivanka were my daughter, perhaps I'd be dating her. Otherwise, you just just use the regular smaller knob to get around. He didn't want us to come to the being talking, having a knee, had to go, had that, a couple different docs telling the deal. Now we're getting our noisy section. 2015 fiscal year was down 1.9 billion dollars compared to a local to station. Dollars a year ago, worldwide. Sounded like you authorized U.S. cellular agents in uptown Mount Pleasant. Sounded like cellular. Hello, better. Fairly decent station. And now for our KILJ weather forecast update. The KILJ Skyline weather forecast. Cloudy sky today, some isolated showers. Wind southeast at 10 to 20. Today's high, 55. Tonight, cloudy with occasional showers. Wind about 10 to 20. Yeah, weather will be moving in tomorrow. Here in Iowa, the southwestern part of the state and the western part of the state over in Nebraska could have ice storms. And more new savings starting at 7 a.m. Saturday through Sunday. It's all happening at... There's a high-powered station, 50,000 watt WHO out of Des Moines. And if you notice, it's over here instead of here because they changed their frequency since this has came out. What, what do you see being communicated to end to end to? Unity Point Health Medical Network. Campaign will come down to the Notre Dame game. I said that. Veggie pizza sounds great. All right, that's Tony Casillas. I'm working. Westside pizza. On the ground. Uh, Justin Gertz on duty from the uh, TV9 Weather Lab with our first alert forecast for the holiday weekend on News Radio 600 WMT. Let's think of your furnace as a slot. WMT is pretty close. It's four to twenty cents a heat. A geocomfort system. I may have the uh, cone centric off just a little bit. I just pushed it in. Yeah. All right. I now it's daytime out and everything. Not a real good time for short wave, but we'll see if we can get anything.
There's something there. Sounds like amateur or some sort of radio signal uh, transmitting. Receiver by rocking from side to side and hallucinating. Today he is dialectic. Time. Just uh, no, no. Which one that one is? Because it's not on the 10 megahertz. Fading a little bit. I've got her up max. I have to go through a minute. They'll come on and talk. Hopefully, it stays in. See who it is. Yeah, that's Canada. Jesus taught that those in the business. Can't pick up ours in the daytime. But we are picking up some stations. Something going on there. Turn this down a little bit. Now, of course, you can hear it going through. Now, if I pull it out, nothing. Not even the slightest bit. Turn it wide open, nothing. Which it should be. When it's fully pulled out, it should be muting. Now, you bring it in just to the first click you get noise. If you go on to a you know, preset, push it in, it should stay going. But if I get in between, it should die. And it does. So dead. Out, dead, in between in between presets. Dead. Bigger than that. All the way out. Dead. Now that's the way it's supposed to work. So it's working fine. And uh, now you could set these to to your stations. I'm off a little bit on the dial, just a slight bit. So a little adjustment in the oscillator to bring the dial a little more into. Or adjust, uh, which will be easier than trying to adjust the uh, uh, the set screw because you'd have to pull the radio back out to do that. There's a set screw where this mechanism hooks on to the tuning condenser, and you loosen them up and you can move it a little bit. But um, it's off by a little bit, but not bad. But you could set these. The tool just slides right through here. You, you get onto one and just keep it down, move it around to where you need it. You know, like this WHO, I could move it over to where the new frequency is. It just won't have the markings on here. But it would be preset there so that it, if I wanted to use it that way. Uh, as it stands, it's kind of a novelty item, but at least it's it's working. So, and if I drop it in, it's out.
So, now on the back, this is supposed to have a back, and on the back, it didn't. It didn't come with one, so I just put a, a piece of cardboard on it for the time being. That's what these little clips are for. They lock the back on. I've got pictures of one, and sometime in the future I'll get some masonite of about this thickness and uh, make up one. There should be a few holes in it stuff for cooling and allowing it to cool down. The back goes all the way down to the to the bottom, and it does help. It makes a world of difference. And I just got this piece of wire on it for an antenna that came with it. Now, uh, I did clean up the top. Uh, there's still a few little uh, blemishes in it and stuff, but I'll leave those. It's for the most part in good shape. I still got to uh, do some gluing back here. This is loose right along here. Minor thing. There's a block in there that um, helps support it. Take the screws out of that. Put some glue in, clamp it up, and then put them uh, block back in and screw it back in. The other uh, thing that I still haven't got done yet is gluing this uh, face on, but the face is in really good shape. The lower parts of the cabinet's got their own little bit of scars. I have not actually cleaned it. The worst spots is, of course, down near the floor, down near the bottom, and stuff. But uh, the grill cloth is actually in real good shape. I bite a little dirty. A lot of this on here is really just dirt. You can see I'm just uh, cleaning it right off my finger now. So, uh, I, I think a little Howard's Restore, clean it first, a little Howard's Restore, glue this back down, glue that back corner, and she'll be good. You know, it's old. Uh, and the Dow. around 1937, 38 uh, there. So it's going to bound to have some scars. I mean, I'm old and I've got scars. So, but otherwise, it's really nice condition. Uh, so anyway, uh, it's kind of short video. I just wanted to show the the cone centric how it's supposed to work. So if you got one that you know, you pull it out and you rotate it through and it's not wanting, you know, sometimes it breaks contact or something. Clean it up real good. Tear it completely apart like I did this one. It's not that hard to tear apart. Take them completely apart, get them good and clean, put a little Vaseline uh, for lubrication, which is uh, we'll give it good lube and good conduction and it should give you good working and if I uh, go to my presets now this one's close but it's on and if I go the other way over in here it's on you can hear it so no matter where I'm at it'll make some noise as you can hear, but in between it don't. So if your presets are not working everywhere, what I found is those, if you don't use, make up a tool that goes through here, they will not center properly. There is a little wiggle room in them. And being that this thing is actually touchy enough, that little bit of wiggle room, a few thousandths of an inch one way or another, is enough to make it so it not want to work properly. So if you use pliers or some other means of tightening them back down, you may get them out a little too far, some of them, some of them a little in too far, and stuff like that. So make up your tool. It's not difficult to make up. And that way you can go right through this thing. You basically lock onto the, the unit, the, the cone, loosen it, move it where you need to, and then tighten it down. And it'll center it and everything properly. As far as the rest of it goes, just make sure she's good and clean and, and lubed up good, and it'll work smoothly 
and will work properly no matter how fast you move it it's not breaking contact so anyway um, She's got some good volume. Actually, a little more than you'd ever want. And I can go anywhere in the house and listen to it, and it sounds good. In fact, he's got enough volume it wants to distort on the speaker a little bit. And the speaker's old, so I don't want to push it too hard anyway. Um, so. Sorry about this not being the grandest video. I'm still using my old camera. It'll probably be a little while before I research out and uh, get me another camera. I looked, I tore it apart, and this camera's not good enough for you to see it. But the ribbon does have a break in it that goes from the main camera and goes up to that uh, viewfinder. And but it wasn't broke where I thought it would be. Uh, I thought it was in the mechanism, the part of it where it rotates, because you can rotate those around and uh, more than 180 degrees. And I thought maybe that was where it was broke at, because that seems to be one of the popular areas. Sometimes those break, but no, it was broke where it bends, you know, closes this way or this way when you open it up. At that bend right there, they actually had it probably in a little tight and eventually uh, gave way and broke but uh, and I know I can get one but my particular model I can only go through JVC to get it for some reason it doesn't have an aftermarket for it a lot of the other JVC models did and that makes a huge difference in price considerable amount of difference in price uh, to get through JVC it's going to cost me more than what I could probably find in a uh, uh, good used camera. So, and that's what that one was. And it, it worked for a while. It worked good. So anyway, uh, that's where we're at. Uh, next video will continue on the audio amplifier. And I'm working on some other projects in my mind. Uh, and I'll get to those uh, when we get pretty much done with the audio amplifier and let you know where we're going. So again, thanks for watching. Thanks for your comments. Uh, and uh, if you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. If you are new to my channel and you like seeing uh, stuff about old radios, uh, tube equipment, tube radios, TVs, uh, test equipment, things of that nature, and, or in also learning about some theory and enough to uh, to be able to work on these and troubleshoot them and restore them, then uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. This will give you uh, an opportunity to see that new videos are coming out. They'll show up in like your email. You'll be notified. So again, thanks to everybody for your support, your comments. I will be uh, getting back to some of them and uh, trying to answer some. And uh, thanks for my new subscribers. So I'll see you guys on the next video. And thanks for watching.